Good night, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. All right. Hello, Ivan. Good evening. Good evening, Patricia. Here I am waiting for you, teacher. Huh? Here I am waiting for you. All right, great. That's good. Okay. So we are ready. Ready to fight another section. Okay, good. Um, hello, teacher. Oh, hello, my friend. How are you doing today? Very fine. Very good. Very good. Very well. Very good. Nice. Okay. Did you brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. Another teeth. No. Yes. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go. Go and brush your teeth. Okay. Brush your teeth. Clean your teeth, and then go to sleep. Okay. 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 Be a good kid. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Nice. Okay, good. All right, everybody. Now we're almost finishing. We're almost finishing here. Uh, just let me... This is the video about the... Hello, teacher. Uh, hello, Ariel. How are you? Okay. Just let me here we go. Okay, present continues with WH questions. Remember, we were practicing. Now listen again. Vamos a escuchar nuevamente solo para recordar pronunciación y la estructura, right? About the here we go. This class, you'll learn to ask and answer the rest of continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of the present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form the WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have the WH word. What? Then we have the verb to be. Is. After that, we have the subject. Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its kind. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question you answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answer them. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City. 7 a.m. 
What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Kermsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's, so I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion. Okay, this is the same uh, image. Okay, these are the same pictures, right? For example, Los Angeles or a clock, the time, and for example, the activity, right? Uh, that they are doing. For example, if you see, uh, okay, here. This is Victoria. Say, for example, who is sleeping now? Victoria is sleeping now, right? You can see the, the activity that she's doing. And then it say, what is Marcos wearing? Okay, he wear his wear pajamas. He's wearing pajamas or he's wearing pajamas. So which one is the correct sentence? if we are using the present progressive? A, B, or C? C. C, C, C. C. C right? Because uh, C. they are using, he is wearing. He's wearing yes. pajamas. Then who is having breakfast? Who is having breakfast? Sue and Tom. Okay. Then you say Sue and Tom. Sue and having breakfast. Tom. Okay. Who's having breakfast? Sue and Tom. If you complete the sentence, you can say are are, are having breakfast. Are, are having are having breakfast. Having a. Uh, Having, having lunch fast. Okay, having breakfast. Then you can see, for example, here, what is what is Celia wearing? What is Celia wearing? She's going, she's going to work. But what is she wearing? Excuse me, excuse me. She's wearing uh -huh. a suit. She's wearing a suit. Okay, a suit. A skirt and a coat and a blouse, right? A suit. Okay, that's, yes. A that's red suit. A red suit. Okay, good. Why are James and Anne having lunch? Here are James and Anne. Why are James and Anne having lunch? Uh, because it's noon, because uh, having lunch because it's noon. And James and Anne are having lunch because it's noon. A, B, or C? C. 
Yes, letter C. This is ID form. That's the correct one. Where's Andre working? Little B. Little B. Letter B he says he's working in Moscow, he's working in Spain, he's working in London. That is correct. Okay, so he's in Moscow. Moscow. Okay. So you can see here, this is correct. Jason and are having lunch because it's noon. Then, uh, She's wearing jeans, or uh, she's wearing a suit. She's not wearing jeans, no. I in error, right? So she's wearing a suit. And he's wearing pajamas. And Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Okay, Sue and Tom are having breakfast. That is the correct sentence. Okay. Questions? No question. No questions before? Good. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Jacqueline Torina. Hello, who's still there? Okay. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Yes. Who said hello, Jacqueline? Ah, yes. Take this with this message. Good, good evening. Okay. Then uh, we have this one. Let's move on to the. Next one says, by the end of this class, you will be, uh, sorry, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different activities. Right now, this is vocabulary for discussing different activities. Let's see what kind of vocabulary we're using. This is what they call the word power. He's playing tennis. And this is vocabulary about outdoor activities, okay? Activities that we do uh, outside the house, right? Uh, they could be in the street, they could be in different places, right? So this is, uh, in the school, at the library, okay, or in the house. Okay, these are activities. Hi, everyone. In this class, you become familiar with vocabulary in order to express activities. Let's start by listening and repeat. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Now, your task is to describe the actions from the pictures and form the statements in the present tense. For example, He's playing tennis. She's riding a bike. You should get creative and change the he or she, the names of people that you know. For example, Mike is playing tennis. Mary is riding after you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching. And form statements in the present continuous. For example, he's playing tennis. Jeez. Okay, so what you're going to do in this moment is, okay, for example, you can say my, uh, my daughter, no, my,
I love this playing in the garden. Okay, you see there, for example, I am uh, using three sentences with three activities, right? In the first one, I say, my dog is playing in the garden. My son is washing the dishes. My mother is watching the soap opera, okay? So I am talking about what other people are doing, okay? It, it can be true, it can be not true, okay, invent it, make it up, okay, you just use your creativity, creativity, right? You can say, for example, the, the gecko, is, jumping from the wall, okay? Cualquier cosa que vean ustedes ahorita que algo o alguien está haciendo. Ok, tengo mi perro está jugando, mi hijo está lavando trastes, mi, mi, mi mamá está eh, viendo la novela, el viejo está saltando desde el muro, ¿eh? jumping, right, from the wall. Eh, my wife is cooking the dinner, ok, Francisco, yes. Ok, you can use that one. Okay, activities, right? Activities. My wife is, uh, it, let's say this. Okay, uh, reading a book. Okay, you can use that one. I'm studying English. Okay, good. I am having the English class. Uh, my dog is sleeping. Okay, good. Good, good, good. My father and my mother. Oh, my mother is reading a book. My daughter is painting. My son is watching TV right now. My father and my mother are sleeping. My sister is watching TV now. Perfect. My daughter is dancing. Okay, good. All right. See, try not to repeat verbs, okay? Vamos bien, ahorita. No han repetido muchos verbos. Muy bien. Traten de no de usar otro. My housing is doing homework. Okay, good. De eso se trata, usar vocabulary, word power. Yes, uh, Ivan. My sister is jumping on the bed. My sister is jumping on the bed. Okay. No tengo como escribir, teacher. Okay. Okay. No problem, no, no problem, no problem. Good, you practice pronunciation too. My sister is jumping on the bed, good. My son is writing the letter, correct, Patricia, good. My mom is watching a series in her room, good, Claudia. Claudia Esmeralda. My sister is, uh, is, 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 my sister is having, having a conversation online, good. My sister is having a conversation online. 
Nice, Stephanie. Come on, keep on writing, keep on writing. Uh, my dog is sleeping in the living room, <laughs> yes. My brother is playing video games. Good, Eduardo. Good, Gisela. Uh, Alison, my sister is having dinner, yes. Hilda, Julie is working on the computer, correct. Good, wow, it's nice people. Uh, my wife and her mother are conversing. Yes, Francisco. My dog and kitten are fine. Okay, Claudia. Vaya a separarlo antes que, que les dos en la casa. Right, separate and split them. Así pasan de día y de noche. <laughs> all right. So they're fighting all the time. Como que fueran hermanitos. Gemelos. Okay, keep on writing. Continue, continue. Write more. Practiquen vocabulario, lo que se les venga a la mente. We are practicing sentences and vocabulary. Yes, Eduardo, correct. Good. I was washing the dishes. Um, I am thinking about more sentences, right? I'm thinking about more sentences, what to write. I am thinking. about my job. My brother's playing puzzle. Okay, Janet. Rather okay. Uh, let me see my my car is making a funny noise. Okay. Hey, funny in this in this oration. Funny significa como raro, extraño. My car is making a funny noise. Okay, let's see what my car is making. Okay, let's see what my car is making. my sister is watching TV. Yes, okay. Uh, my cell my cell phone is ringing. Okay, the telephone is sonando, all right. My cell phone is ringing. Okay, la idea es que vean que podemos utilizar cualquier tipo de pregunta, right? 
not only one type. My brother-in-law is coming from work. Yes, Francisco, good. Okay, all right. I am studying English tonight. Okay, perfect. Well, I see that you have the, the structure, you have the idea. Okay, ya tenemos la idea, la estructura. Okay, uh, let me see here. Okay, he's playing tennis, she's riding a bike. Mike is playing tennis. Mary is riding a bike. Okay, you see here is our activity. Eh, alguna palabra de estas eh, que digamos que sea nueva o que no conozcan? Yes, Francisco. Estaba viendo, teacher, que hay algunos verbos que cuando eh, incluyen la estructura del ING tienden a cambiar su, su forma. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, el caso de, de drive, eh, se elimina la E y, bueno, más que todo en las que terminan con vocal, veo que se elimina la vocal y se los incluye el ING. Exacto. Eh, por ejemplo, el caso de play, solo se agrega ING. Cuando terminan en Y, si usted ve play y study, solo le agregan ING. A la mayoría, solo se les agrega ING. Por ejemplo, play, playing, eh, aquí vamos a ver, take, take, eh, no. Eh, vamos a ver acá, going, solo going. Vale. Y reading and study reading. and watching. Okay. En el caso de, por, el, por ejemplo, shop, room, swing, eh, esas eh, les incluyen un, una consonante más, ¿verdad? En caso de run, running, yes. pero ya llevan doble N, al igual que, que swing, doble M, y shopping, doble P. Doble P, así es. Y las que terminan en E llevan ING, en vez de la E. Se bota la E y se pone ING. Se elimina okay. prácticamente la vocal en la que terminan, ¿verdad? Las que terminan en E. Okay. Más que todas las que están, por lo general, que terminan en E. Aquí está ride, sí, es take, dance, drive. Ok. Y el caso de run, swim y shop es porque son palabras eh, monosílabas. Ok. Las palabras monosílabas porque tienen un solo sonido, run. Y el, las últimas tres letras llevan este orden. Consonante, vocal, consonante. O sea, hay unas, eh, tiene que ser unas condiciones, por ejemplo, consonante, vocal, consonante. Aquí está shop, lleva cuatro letras, pero es un solo sonido, shop. Run, es un solo sonido. Eh, swim, es un solo sonido. Pero las últimas tres letras es W consonante, la I vocal y la M consonante. Entonces, en ese caso, es que es, en esos casos, es que se duplica la consonante final. Okay, entonces, ya se pone swimming con doble M y en E y en G. Por ejemplo, vea esta que le voy a poner ahí en el chat. Dice clean. Okay, clean es, es, es un solo sonido. Monosílabo, ok, es un solo sonido. Eh, pero no, no cumple la, seg la segunda condición que es consonante, vocal, consonante. Lo que es, lleva vocal, vocal, consonante. Entonces, cuando usted pone clean en ING, no le duplica, no le duplica la N, sino que solamente le agrega ING. 
Entonces, básicamente, esa es la regla. Son dos, son dos condicionantes que se deben de cumplir. Una que sea monosílaba, un solo sonido, run, swim, shop. Y que las últimas tres letras sean consonante, vocal, consonante. Ok, thank you. All right, good. Este, eso lo van a volver a ver más adelante, ¿verdad? ya el detalle de las, eh, de las, de las reglas de, or, de ortografía sería, este, pero ya llevan un avance y eso es bueno siempre que, por eso me gusta que pregunten y que compartan, porque ya se lleva una idea de por qué, por qué se escriben si los cambios. Entonces recuerden que si terminen E, va a cambiar la E por ING. Eh, la mayoría llevan solamente ING. Y si son así de un sonido, monosílabo, que termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, se duplica la consonante final. Y ya se pone running con doble N, swimming con doble N, shopping con doble P. Ok. Si esto aplica, por ejemplo, stop también es parecido a shop. Antes van a decir stopping. Okay, pero vean look. Look es parecido a clean. Es un solo sonido, look. Pero tiene vocal, vocal, consonante. Entonces no se duplica la K. Ok, pueden copiar esos ejemplos para tenerlos ahí y que se recuerden de esa, de esa regla. Okay, si cumple las dos condiciones, la cambio. Y ahí no... No importa si conocen o no conocen el verbo, van a saber cómo. Ok, ¿alguna otra pregunta? Gracias. Ok, thank you very much for the question. Ok. Ok, hay un micrófono encendido. Y la respuesta es sí. Elisa, tu micrófono está en el No, no, no. No, no, no. The next one is a knowledge check. Now it says, what's Mary doing? Listen to the sounds and respond to respond in each numeral. Follow the example, okay? Now we're gonna go to this one. Okay, primero solo van a escuchar, okay? Solamente escuchen y luego vamos a ir al ejercicio. Answer questions about each sound. One. Two. Three. Teacher, sorry, no, no lo escucho. Four. Perdón. No se escucha. Ok. No, o no sé si, no no sé si mis compañeras, mis compañeros escuchan, pero yo no. ¿Escuchan los demás? I don't hear it, teacher. No. Okay, veamos. Entonces, tengo que ver que tengo un centro. Okay. Los Se oye a lo lejos. Answer questions Perdón, about pregunto. each sound. ¿Y ahora? One. Two. ¿Me escuchan ahora? Yes, Más o listening. menos. Okay, yes, yes, yes. okay, here we go. Okay, playback. Comenzamos. 
answer questions about each sound. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, so if you see this uh, exercise is para, para afinar el oído, para escuchar sonidos, eh, concentrarse un poco, es más que todo con esa idea. Hay sonidos que pueden ser muy similares a otros, right? Pero, o sea, puede ser que no nos salga la respuesta, vamos a ver qué nos dice aquí. Ok, la primera dice, what's Mary doing? Todas son, what's Mary doing? 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 And what's Mary doing? Okay, and the answer goes according to according to what we hear. Okay, the question. Answer questions about each sound. Then, One. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. So in the number one, what is Mary doing? Driving. Driving. Okay. One. We can hear the traffic, right? Yes, yeah, she's driving. And the second one? Two. Okay. She's swimming. Okay, you can say swimming or she's swimming. Okay. What about the uh, number three? Parking three. Okay. Talking. Talking? She's eating. Four. Eating. Why, yes. eat, why eating. eating? Why eating? The dinner. Because you hear the the sound of the metal, right? Yes. It is a metal sound like the fork, spoon, right? And uh, conversation. Uh, uh, but mostly the el sonido de los cubiertos, right? El cuchillo, maybe. Okay, number four. Street next Wednesday night. He's watching television. He's watching television, right? Right. ¿Qué sonido? ¿Qué soy ahorita? Okay. ¿Qué podemos decir de ese sonido que se oye? Watching the news. News, news, news. Yes, watching the news. Watching the news. Now, next one. Five. Dancing. You're on right now, right? 
listening. Okay. Six. Dancing. Bike. Seven. Number six. She's riding. She's riding a bike. Riding a bike. Okay. Yes. Six. Standing. And number six is riding a bike. Mm -hmm. And number seven. Playing tennis. Playing. Seven. He's playing tennis. Yeah, she can hear the ball and the racket. Okay. And the last one. Eight. In the movie? Watching the movie? Watching a movie? No? Typing. Yes, yeah, she's typing. She's typing. Yes, she's typing. Eight. Okay, so you can see that she's in the answer. She's typing, we're typing. Uh, she's playing tennis. She's riding a bike. She's dancing. Number she's four. Television. Uh, number four, she's watching television. Number four, cuando yo le puse tele, television, no me la aceptó, tuve que dejarla en TV. A ver, espera que me la acepta, de acuerdo a las respuestas. She's watching television. She's watching TV. She's watching TV. Okay. Pero, ¿cuál le dejó la segunda? Esta. Yo le dejé este, el she's contractado. Okay. Watching, pero TV sin los puntos. Ah, quiero ver. Sí, aquí está. Y, y estoy viendo que la opción está she is, pero sin contracción. Por eso es que Ajá. no me la aceptó. Sí, aquí está. Ok. Pues ahí están las opciones. Se puede poner también solo watching television. Uh, watching TV. Okay. Eh, she's eating. Streaming, aquí puede poner streaming, sin mayúscula, todo en mayúscula, streaming, streaming, or streaming, or this one. Okay, those are the options. Good. Uh, okay, now, Elisa, your microphone. Elisa, Elisa, Elisa. Thank you. Okay. All right. Eh, voy a pasar lista ahorita. Ok, ya son los 45. But let me check. We have. Anyone. Ok, good. Eh, Abiel Zavala, no, a ver. No me sé, dime. Eh, Alison Michelle. Presente, teacher. Ok, now Amanda Lisset. Vente para acá, ¿qué está pasando? Dale. Amanda Lisset. No. Ok, then Ana Vilma, no. Ariel Abigail, yes. Ariel, Brian, 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 Antonio, ok, Carlos, Alfredo, Carlos Cruz, Present. ok, Carmen, Selina, eh, Ceci, Guadalupe, Present teacher. Okay, Cecilia Noemi. Present teacher. Claudia Elizabeth. Yes. Present teacher. Claudia Esmeralda. Yes. Present. Claudia Stephanie. Present teacher. Dalia Margarita. Hey, ¿Dónde están mis flores? Okay. Claudia, Claudia, Dalia Margarita, no. 
Uh, there is there is Anilo. Hola, present. Okay, there you are. There were Raquel. Edwin Edgardo. Alarcón. Present. Okay, Edwin Eduardo Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Elsa Karina. Present teacher. Elsie Patricia. Present teacher. Okay, Francisco Antonio. Here teacher. Stella. Yes. Present. Okay, Hector Iván. Yes. No, Hector Iván. No, Hector, Hector. Hector Iván. No está Hector Iván ahorita. Okay, uh, Helen Vanessa. No. Hilda Norma. Hilda, Hilda. Hilda, Hilda, ahora. Ok, Iván Ibrahim, yes. Present teacher. Jacqueline Karina, la vi por acá. Present teacher. Ok. Jaime Ernesto Ponce. No. And Janet Carolina. Janet. Present teacher. Yes, ahí está. Ok, good. Bueno, ok, thank you very much. There we go. Okay, people, good. Now let's see, this is the next one. Teacher. Yes. Sorry, no le pude contestar porque estaba lloviendo, se va la señal. ¿Quién me está hablando que no la veo ahorita? Ariel Torres. Ariel, Ariel, Ariel. Sí, quiero ver. Ah, pero me queda cambiar lista acá. Ya, ahorita, yo creo que... Sí, Ariel Torres, sí, pero ya le puse porque la vi que me estaba hablando al inicio. Sí, pero ya la había, ya la había puesto. Es que lo que pasa es que cuando los veo, aunque que hayan entrado, yo les pongo la asistencia, aunque les aparezca aquí uno o dos minutos por si desconectaron. Pero siempre es bueno que me lo, que me lo recuerden. Pero ya está Thank you, teacher. No problem. Ok, good. Nice. Ok, the next one is, in this class, the students will read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. Este es sobre lectura. Ok, here. Now, listen. Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. 
She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. They're chatting online. My mother is out shopping. Okay. Eh, denle una mirada a la conversación y vean si hay palabras o expresiones nuevas o algo que no conozcan. Porque ensay, y Es un ensayo. Essay. Ensayo. Ensayo. Es un okay. ensayo, pero un ensayo de cuando uno escribe un, una composición, es un ensayo, se le llama ensayo. No, no es un ensayo de practicar para una obra o algo, no es un ensayo de escritura. Por ejemplo, les digo, mire, van a, van a escribir un ensayo sobre la economía a nivel mundial de 700 palabras. Entonces, se empieza a escribir sobre cómo está la economía, los causas y todo eso. Entonces, eso se pronuncia. Es... Perdón, es, profe. Essay. Se pronuncia essay. Essay. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Thank you. All right. ¿Quién más? ¿Alguien más? Mowing the lawn es como, como cortar la grama. O el eso, es, este. ma, eso es más, más, pola, es como más pulidito todavía, más caché. Podar el césped. Pero ¿sabes? cortar la grama. Ah, ok. Cut the grass, aquí sería podar el césped, mow the lawn. Eh, también me fijaba acerca de lo que practicábamos ayer en la, en la entonación, en las, en las preguntas, por ejemplo, en uh -huh. What are you working on? Uh -huh. Se aprecia el, el, el falling. Ajá, uh -huh. el falling. Down. Okay. La primera también, What are you doing? What are you doing? Doing goes down. Yes. Nice. Outside, este, afuera, ¿verdad? Outside, sí. afuera, correcto. Correct, correct. Ok, ¿está bien? Yes. Perfect. Veamos entonces el siguiente, la práctica de este es... The next box. Okay, for example, the first one is who is writing an essay? Um, Meg or Kathy? Who is writing an essay? May. Okay, Meg. Uh, Meg Martin. Okay. Who's having coffee? Who's having coffee? Look at the pictures. Meg Martin. Meg Martin, right. Okay. Siguen acá. Aquí quien pregunta es, what are you working on? Kathy dice, I'm writing an essay for a Spanish class. Entonces, ¿quién está escribiendo el essay? Katie. Ajá, uh -huh, Katie, right? So here, O'Brien. Okay, who's reading a magazine? Carmen. Okay. Saben que acá lo que tenemos que hacer es escanear la información. Eh, Carmen. Good. Who's working outside? Father. The father? What's his name? Kathy's father. Kathy's. Must be Kathy's father. Kathy's father. Yes, his father. Okay. Who's shopping? Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother. Okay. 
And the last one, who's playing soccer? Brother, brother. John, right? Yes. John O'Brien. Okay. So you see, for example, John O'Brien, they have Kat's mother, Kathy's father, Carmen, Matt Martin, and Kathy O'Brien. And that we have. All right. So then that's the that's basically the the end of unit six, unit uh, five. Okay, aquí terminamos con la sección 5. Eh, ¿ya, ¿Y ya todos la comple completaron esta sección? ¿Qué has dicho? Mañana, mañana eh, les voy a recomendar que eh, para mañana hagan el... Comiencen, ¿verdad? hagan todo lo que puedan del, del final exam. Y vamos a abrirlo ahorita. Ok, aquí está. Entonces tiene un listening. Está el reading. Está la... Choose the correct adjective to complete sentences. Eh, choose the correct eh, answer to the questions. Y mañana lo vamos a ir resolviendo. Son seis partes. El listening, la verdad que no está muy extenso. El listening es corto. Igual esta parte de acá solo son cuatro o cinco preguntas. Eh, choose the correct adjective. Solo son cuatro. Ok, and this other section is choose the correct answer to the question. Ok, here we have the multiple choice. Five questions. Y mañana lo vamos a resolver acá, ¿ok? Vamos a ir viendo algunas dudas que tengan. Puedo explicarles eh, eh, algunos de estos temas, volverlos a ver y aprovechar el, el momento del... del Quiera, y la compañera tiene razón, mañana es día del maestro, ya suelto. No, sí, sí. Perfecto, entonces no vengo yo, pero ustedes sí. <risa> Sí, es cierto, pero no, 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 no nos cayó el asueto, por lo menos en la noche, en el día sí no voy a trabajar, pero en la noche sí vamos a tener que estar acá. Es que en Insafor no hay profesores, no sé. aquí estamos, pero sí, mañana seguimos y el jueves, como tenemos que terminar el jueves, y el jueves ya es la última clase, ¿verdad? así que ahí estamos. Ok, dicho. Ok, entonces este, quedamos en que ustedes empiecen, o sea, háganlo para que practiquen y, y vayan anotando las, todas las dudas que tengan y aquí las vamos aclarando también. Nos va a servir de repaso y al mismo tiempo van llenando ustedes el, ya el, el examen. Y el jueves, repaso y práctica. ¿okay? Repaso y práctica. Y si tienen alguna pregunta específica, vamos a trabajar en esto. Si no, pues práctica. All right. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.